Hi, welcome to Indira's World on this wonderful day in Hertfordshire where the sun is shining. I started this whole thing in the beginning of the lockdown. I was doing a lot of cooking for the family as everyone was at home. And uh, I decided, well, since I was trying so hard to put together exercise, healthy eating, and I had so much time on my hands, I thought maybe it's time to kind of share these recipes. Well, 57 recipes later and shows, here I am and the world is coming back to normal. And I feel, uh, although I'm not going to cut myself off this whole thing completely, I am going to take, um, maybe go a little less in what I'm doing and also as go back to my songwriting. Um, today we've got some interesting stuff for you and I hope you're going to like it. But please do still follow me on Indira's World and if you haven't subscribed and don't forget to like. But I will be having more than just cooking in store for you in future. So on that uh, note, let's go on in. All right, so here we have, I've say, taken a chicken breast, beat it down and cut it into a kind of random circular thing. Um, I have very lean bacon here, as you can see. Um, there's no fat on that one. And I've taken the only naughty bit is my nice strong cheddar here. Some tomatoes, always good for you, and spinach. High in iron and fiber. I have some chili oil, which I find exciting and I have here, I found this in the fridge, red pepper and garlic mustard, but you could use regular mustard. I've got some smoked paprika, pepper, and sun-dried tomato olive oil, but you can use just olive oil. And I've got some um, Worcester sauce, spelled Worcestershire sauce, and, <laughs> and that's about it. And of course, the famous frying pan. So let's do this now. Okay, so here we have my pan, which I'm going to heat up. Now, just so you know that um, this is really good uh, protein dish and, of course, got its fiber and all the rest of it, a little bit of fat. And combined with exercise, it's pretty good. I, I do try and eat something like this at least, at least once a week, sort of uh, very healthy, at least four days a week, to be honest. And on Saturdays, I'm really naughty and it's a duvet day usually, so that's allowed. So where, when my pan is heating, I'm going to put a tablespoon of my tomato olive oil. And just as I said earlier, try and keep to lean. Now I'm using this, which is like cheating a bit, I suppose, but it keeps everything in shape. So it's a cookie cutter and that goes in there. And my chicken breast is going in there. So that's my my mustard garlic key thingamy going in there and my Worcester sauce that's all going to add some flavor and it'll all seep through as well some pepper poivre and now I this will it's I've kind of taken one breast per person and I think that's plenty now here I have my spinach. Now I have actually drained the water from the spinach so it doesn't ooze all over. And a couple of bits of tomato. I just like tomato. I tried to actually put rainbow colors. Now on top of this is my very lean bacon and that's going to actually keep everything in. And there you go. I shall eventually put the cheese on top. Now, I'm going to let that brown a bit. That should take about three to four minutes. And as I said, that one is good for one person. You can always serve it with a nice sauce, a parsley sauce, or just make a sauce out of what's left in there, which is also nice. It will go well with a salad. Uh, grilled vegetables, whatever you want. 
But now I'm going to give this about two to three minutes because I'm also going to stick it in the oven for another 10 minutes and uh, make sure that that chicken cooks through. Uh, over this is going to go the cheese and then we're all ready to pop it in the oven. Okay, so that's been sizzling away quite well and it looks pretty good to me. Now what I'm going to do here is um, pop my slice of cheese on there and just pull those bits in. There you go. I'm going to top that with a wee bit of paprika. I do like smoked paprika, so that's going in there. Ouch. And then you burn your hands. And I've already preheated my oven now, so I'm going to take this over to my oven. Slow that down a bit. And I'm going to let it cook in the oven for about 10 minutes because it's almost ready. And uh, now the spinach is going to keep that quite moist and so is the tomato. So I'm not too worried about it. All right, so there it goes now. It's going in. So here's another one of my very complete recipes with chicken, their vegetables, bacon. Um, if you want to do a vegan version of this, you can use tofu at the bottom and you can use vegan cheese and follow exactly the same principle. You should be fine. I have eaten it with tofu. I do love tofu, so it does work well. It's very simple to do, fills you up and honestly, it can be very comforting. And ooh, I forgot to say, it's really nice with mashed potatoes as well. <laughs> so, on that note, I shall bid you farewell for now and hope to see you again. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to Indira's World. And I will see you very soon. Till then, bye-bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Um, spinach, I mean, Popeye's food, you know, and chicken and all the things we like. And as I said, there was the vegan options of tofu. Uh, for those who like tofu, I absolutely love it. And of course, the bits of cheese. You've got your protein going in there. I'm not saying it's zero fat. It's not, but it's not loaded in fat either. Um, you know, this, this whole thing has been really fun for me, kind of putting together all this stuff. but. The lockdown has also been an amazing journey where we've learned a lot and I hope all of you have learned to kind of get certain things right and under control. I, my exercise has improved vastly, my cooking skills have definitely improved vastly um, and uh, one of the best things that came out of this is uh, I haven't drunk for a year and a half so there are certain turning points in everyone's lives. Um, on the downside, people are suffering from things like depression and so on and so forth. Well, this is a good time to consider looking at it and saying, do I need help or not? Things like that. There is a lot out there and uh, there are people out there ready to help. Always reach out and don't forget. Um, I'm not closing down forever, so please keep up with Indira's World and don't forget to subscribe, like when you can and um, Whatever I do, whether it's cooking or music or just connecting on life itself or life on a farm, animals, rescuing animals, whatever I decide to do, please follow me because it's going to be a fun journey either way. So till then, I'll see you later. Bye bye.